Again, our guest is author Thomas Fellows, the author of a new book. It's called Mrs. DeBose Last Wish, The Out of Embracing, The Art of Embracing Suffering. Okay, Thomas, uh, this is a, you're very passionate about the subject, suicide awareness. Why is that? Yes, I would say it goes back to my first book, Forget Self-Help. Um, the best way to help yourself is to help others. Um, when you do become depressed, you naturally become more selfish and you try to dig yourself out of the hole. Um, but I found the most meaning in life in you know, helping others achieve their dreams and goals. Right. We all know about pain and suffering. It comes in all kinds of forms. What does pain and suffering, but pain and empathy mean to Thomas Fellows? Well, the more pain you go through, the more empathy you have. And the more empathy you have, the better off you're able to read people. So I'm also in technology sales and could, could potentially make seven figures this year working just 15 hours a week. And I do so because I try to sell with empathy, which is what my mentor, Bill McDermott, the CEO of ServiceNow, taught me to do. Um, the guy literally came from poverty and made $63 million in 2019, $25 million in 2020. And he taught me that nice guys don't finish last, they finish first. Very good. There's also an organization called NAMI, N-A-M-I. Yes. Explain that, if you would, Thomas. Yes, I did a suicide walk with NAMI with my fraternity in college. Um, and that's, you know, 100% of the profits are going to NAMI for suicide awareness. You know, we've, we've all suffered in many ways through uh, the pandemic. Hopefully we have empathy. What have you learned or what's the message you'd like to say as we come out of the pandemic? Well, I would say, you know, even when I was young, when I was 19 years old and had to go to Emory Hospital, the psychiatric ward for 10 or 11 days and had to go to Skyland Trail, the mental illness rehab facility, I knew that I had advantage over other people because I had been through so much. And what doesn't kill you makes you stronger is the old adage, and it's definitely true. And, um, you know, what I do, I'm, you know, I'm about to publish my ninth book and I'm 32 years old. Um, and, you know, that old school discipline is what I learned from um, Bill McDermott, the CEO of ServiceNow. And of course, uh, nine books is, a, is a, quite an accomplishment. Okay, how do we get the book, Thomas, and where exactly? The best way to get the book is at the Barnes & Noble um, in Evansville or um, on Amazon. Uh, is there a future book in the works? Yeah, I'd love to come back. I'm about to re release my um, ninth book called Input Output. Our final product comes from our initial actions. Again, that comes from the Bible. You reap what you sow. Real quick, what's the, what's the, what, what, what are you most proud of having gone through at such a young age what you've gone through? I would say the fact that, you know, again, I read Nasir Gamli's book, A First Rate Madness. And I, when I was suicidal, I thank God for the pain because I knew I would make the world a better place because I'd have more empathy. And that's a pretty crazy thought when you're suicidal, be thankful for it because it is the most defeating feeling in the world. Thomas Fellows, again, author of Mrs. DeBose Last Wish, The Art of, em of uh, Embracing Suffering. Uh, Thomas, good luck with the book. I hope we meet you in person someday, and thanks for your yes, time. For sure. Thank you, you. You got it. And when we come back, Scott Robbins with Action Pest will join us. You're watching Midday, and we're back, but again, these messages.